afternoon. Uh, on Monday, July 1st at 8.45 p.m., uh, the detectives from the Redlands Police Department arrested Laura Elizabeth Whitehurst, a 28-year-old high school teacher for unlawful sexual intercourse with a minor. Whitehurst is a teacher at Citrus Valley High School here in Redlands. The victim, a now 17-year-old, was 16 at the time of the assault and a student at the school. Whitehurst was a student activities advisor which the victim was involved in. The sexual relationship began in the summer of 2012 and continued for nearly a year. Whitehurst gave birth to a child in mid-June of this year, believed to be fathered by the teen victim. After recently discovering the relationship, the victim's family reported it to school officials who notified the Redlands Police Department. After an investigation was conducted, Whitehurst was arrested at her residence in Redlands. She was later released on a bail bond in the amount of $25,000. I can now answer questions, but the investigation is continuing, so some of the answers will be limited. We believe it was at her residence in Redlands. Do you know what kind of school activities she was in charge of uh, supervising? Uh, we're not going to get into details on the school activities. For, we don't want to identify the victim any further. And, uh, do you think there may have been other victims? We don't know if there are. There's, no been, there's been no other allegations at this time. We are investigating currently, though. Um, they met approximately a year ago and started uh, talking um, away from school and developed a relationship there and one thing led to another and he ended up at her residence and it's been going on going for approximately one year now. Was she cooperative with you guys when you showed up? She was cooperative, yes. Is the alleged victim still a student at Citrus Valley? He is now graduated. He graduated when? Uh, in June of this year. Do they have a baby girl or a baby boy? I'm not going to release that. Is Mrs. Whitehurst currently married? No. Does she have other children? Not that I'm aware of. Did she go on maternity leave from the school? I don't know. Do you know if the birth occurred before or after graduation this year? I believe it was after. I think graduation was in the first couple weeks of June and the birth occurred, I believe, June 18th. Right now, it's um, unlawful, uh, unlawful sexual intercourse with a minor, um, and she's more than three years older than the victim, so that will be taken into account. There are also some other accusations, and the DA will be following up with more charges probably in the future. Can you elaborate on this? We're not sure what the allegations are going to be. We still have to discuss it with the DA's office. Not that I'm aware of. Forgive me if somebody already asked. Is this a misdemeanor or a felony? It's a felony. Are you aware of anything that it did to try and conceal the relationship or cover up the pregnancy? Um, she was open with her pregnancy. I don't know what you know her story was to everybody else, but it was an open pregnancy. The school district knew about it. She obviously didn't disclose who the father was. I don't believe so. Well, the next step is court proceedings and filing with the DA's office. She has posted bail. Correct? She has posted bail. She was released last night from our jail here in Redlands. Is she being told to stay local? We have not told her that. She has a bond and that should keep her local. I mean, not leaving the state or anything. 